Available now. Link below. Brace yourselves for an explosive expose that will leave you outraged and demanding answers. In this special report, we uncover the shocking depths of Whoopi Goldberg's disdain for the American people and her blatant attempt to silence legitimate voter concerns. As millions of citizens struggle under the weight of Biden's disastrous policies, Whoopi's bizarre tirade on the view has sparked fury across the nation. Her dismissal of a crucial question, are you better off than you were four years ago? It's not just incomprehensible, it's a slap in the face to every American grappling with the harsh realities of crippling inflation, a border crisis, and erosion of their values. But what's really behind Whoopi's outrageous rant? Is she just another pawn in the left's desperate attempt to gaslight the public? Stay tuned as we peel back the layers of this shocking story and reveal the truth that the mainstream media doesn't want you to know. Now, folks, let me take a moment to address the elephant in the room. Just like Whoopi Goldberg's attempt to dismiss the concerns of millions of Americans, the mainstream media has been trying to sweep the truth about your health under the rug. They don't want you to know about the dangerous effects of excess belly fat, which is linked to numerous health issues and puts pressure on vital organs. But there is hope a groundbreaking new substance formulated with science-backed ingredients is helping people across the nation reduce fat storage, speed up fat breakdown, manage weight, curb cravings, and boost metabolism. And for a limited time, you can get 51% off. Visit TrimWithGary.com right now before supplies run out. Now, in a shocking display of arrogance and disdain, Whoopi Goldberg, co-host of The View, she launched into an incomprehensible tirade against a question that lies at the heart of every election. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Well, this question was made famous by Ronald Reagan during his 1980 debate against incumbent President Jimmy Carter. It's long been a litmus test for the success or failure of any administration, but apparently Whoopi thinks it's a stupid and disrespectful question. As Americans struggle to make ends meet in the face of crippling inflation, a border crisis, and erosion of their values, Whoopi's outrageous dismissal of their concerns is a testament to just how out of touch she and her ilk are with the realities faced by everyday citizens. Her claim that people have short memory issues is not just condescending. It's a blatant attempt to gaslight the public and distract from the Biden administration's numerous failures. See for yourself. And I was looking back to remember, and I know we all vividly do, every picture in a mask from work to school to not being able to see family. My parents don't live nearby. I can't fly. I mean, you couldn't go on trips and not trips like for fun. I just mean literally to get to people you love. The, it was isolating, depressing. So I laugh that someone didn't catch that yeah. part when they said, we're going to go out and ask people, how were you four years ago? That is a time my brain is trying to completely block out. Like I, women have better reproductive health rights? Yes. Yeah. There is, listen, as black people, we were not in this insanity of trying to figure out why our history is no longer welcome right. in the educational system. Women were realizing something was happening. If you were coming from another country, if you were coming to this country to find a better life, you were not welcome. Listen, it wasn't a good time for lots of people. Yeah. And all you have to do to, to ask, it, are we better off than we were? Ask the thousands of people who are no longer here. That's how you know if we're better off. Ask their families, are they better off without their loved ones? What a stupid question. It's a stupid question and disrespectful to the American people, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Oh, wow. Her rant began with a bizarre assertion that Americans have forgotten the state of the nation four years ago. Why is it some people are having short memory issues? There's plenty of re other reasons to feel good about where we actually are. Why isn't that tracking? That's what she asked. Well, Whoopi, let me just refresh your memory. Four years ago, we didn't have an inflation rate that was gutting people's savings and making it impossible for families to put food on the table. We didn't have millions of illegal aliens pouring across our southern border, straining our resources and threatening our national security. And we certainly didn't have backbreaking interest rates that are making it harder than ever for Americans to afford homes or start businesses. But she didn't stop there. She then launched into a racially charged diatribe that left viewers scratching their heads in confusion. Black people, we were not in this insanity of trying to figure out why our history is no longer welcome in the educational system. Women were realizing something was happening. If you were coming from another country, if you were coming to this country to find a better life, you weren't welcome. Yeah, that's what she ranted. 
Now, it's hard to decipher exactly what point she was trying to make here, but it seems she's angry about the backlash against divisive ideologies like critical race theory and DEI initiatives. She also appears to be obsessed with abortion and believes that illegal aliens should be welcomed with open arms regardless of the strain they place on our society and our economy. But the real kicker came at the end of her tirade when Whoopi, filled with self-righteous anger and ra rallied against the very idea against asking whether Americans are better off now than they were four years ago. All you have to do is ask, are we better off than we were? Ask the thousands of people who are no longer here. That's how you know if we're better off. Ask their families if we're better off with other loved ones. That's what she said. This is nonsense. People die during every administration. It is a tragic but inevitable fact of life. If Whoopi is referring to those who lost their lives during the pandemic, it's Worth noting that more people have died from the virus during Biden's tenure than during Trump. So what exactly is her point? The truth is, Whoopi's permanent state of outrage and incomprehensible ranting is really hard to take seriously, especially considering the fact she makes millions of dollars a year just for sitting in a chair and spouting off nonsense on television. But we know why she's really so angry. It's not the question itself she has a problem with. It's the answer. A recent Fox News poll asked Americans if they were better off now than they were four years ago, and the results were damning for the Biden administration. Only 22% of respondents said yes, while 52% said they were worse off. That's the reality that Whoopi and her fellow Biden supporters are desperately trying to avoid. But no matter how much they try to gaslight the American people, no matter how many times they attempt to dismiss concerns as stupid or disrespectful, the truth will always come out. The Biden administration has been an unmitigated disaster on every front, from the economy to immigration to foreign policy, and no amount of ranting and raving from the likes of Whoopi Goldberg can change that fact. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. Whoopi Goldberg's outrageous dismissal of the question, are you better off than you were four years ago, is a reminder of the depths to which the left will sink to cover for the Biden administration's failures. By claiming that this legitimate inquiry is stupid and disrespectful, Whoopi has shown her true colors. She is nothing more than a partisan hack who will say anything to protect her political allies, even if it means insulting the intelligence of lived experiences of millions of Americans. But the truth is, no matter how much the left tries to gaslight us, we know the reality of our own lives. We feel the pain of inflation every time we go to the grocery store or fill up our gas tanks. We see the chaos at our border and the erosion of our values. And come November 2024, we will make our voices heard at the ballot box, sending a clear message that we will no longer tolerate the incompetence and disregard of the Biden administration and its apologists in the media. The American people deserve better, and it is time for a change. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.